hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to explain you about rheology and its importance in food industry so friends let's begin here friends now see what is rheology first we will see rheology is the science of flow and deformation of matter and describes the interrelation between the force deformation and time so see here friends uh, here rheology is the science of flow flow means suppose this is uh, a liquid material or uh, liquid food and uh, it is it is uh, going like this uh, flowing like this it is a, it is called as a flow that is movement of the food food movability of the food particles uh, is called as a flow okay now suppose this is a food particle and it is uh, there are uh, and some forces applied on it because of that forces it deforms that is either it get compressed or if there is a pulling action then did uh, pulling action like this then it gets elongate suppose it becomes like this this is due to compression if force are applied the here and here it is this one is due to uh, stress um, pulling force like this and because of this it will get elongate this is called as deformation then there is a interrelation between the at this rheological study describes the interrelation between the force deformation and time force means see here friends which i had told you this is compressive force here force force here force and this is also force which is which is which is pulling force like this this is called as force and deformation which i have told you this is due to the compression it shrinks like this and here it is elongated this uh, it elongates this part becomes this much like this and time here friends time means uh, uh, the time which uh, time you can you know about time time for time take uh, takes to deform any food particle or uh, food substance and uh, or it is related to time is related to flow of the fluid flow of the fluid or for flow of the food okay now next here friends we understood this term okay now here rheology is the study of the manner in which material responds to the applied stress and strain okay now see here friends applied stress and strain it is dependent on this only force relationship stress stress is given as friends force upon area that is the area in which we apply either the um, compressive force or pulling force we, that force generates the stress in that particular substance or here in this case food okay now strain is friends change in length upon original length original length okay now here friends see suppose this is a particle this is a substance here we have and it has a length l and if we pull it from this side here it is suppose here it is fixed okay and we pull it and it changes its size from this to this this portion okay it elongates at this point and here this elongation is called as delta l suppose we call this as delta l like this and this is a elongation force and this comes to here this position the here friends in the 
formula then strain is equal to change in length that is this one d delta l upon original length that is this one this is our original length it is called as a strain formula okay and here friends see when we pull this we have taken here only this um, in these two characteristics for and per but here friends if we pull any substance suppose here it is a substance here the here it is a length and here it is it's a diameter or any size we take it here as it is a diameter that is d okay now here it is a force applied when we pull it there is change in length that is dl sorry d okay yes yes delta l change in length also and there is change in diameter also this diameter d changes to delta small delta d that is this suppose this this is the size this uh, substance becomes like see here like this one okay that is it's that uh, is a new diameter previous diameter was d and this changed diameter is this one that is here delta d okay and here this one is l and this is a uh, change in length delta l okay understood okay now next is friends here this is done now importance of rheology study uh, study rheological study importance in food industry okay now rheological study is important because friends utility its utility in food it processing and uh, utility in food processing operations and sensory characteristics food processing operations means there are various operations performed on the food the that, that operations okay now next is gives the information rheological study important because it gives the information about the microstructure of the food okay we we need to know the uh, microstructure that is uh, uh, how its structure uh, structure that is friends uh, what it is composed of uh, there are different uh, materials uh, or you can say uh, okay, um, other food particles uh, and uh, different uh, materials uh, are involved in particular food so we no need to know the microstructure of the food so next is here use it is used to predict how the fluid will behave in the process okay in the process that is the food processing okay and in determining the energy requirement of for transporting the fluid from one point to another in the processing plant there are different stages suppose here it is one process on a food here it is next process here it is the sec third process and so on there so here to transport from this place to this place further to transport from this place to this place and so on there is some energy is needed needed to transport so that for that uh, that uh, uh, energy needed to determine that amount of energy what amount of energy we need this there is a need of a study of rheology of in food industry okay now next is friends it is useful in defining the quality attribute of the food products so here again friends in food industry quality of food is, food products is very important so rheological study it gives the direction or you can say gives a not of us information and knowledge about the quality of the food products now friends from this page you can read and easily understood the importance of rheological study in the different areas in food industry so friends in this video we have learned about rheology and its importance in food industry thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you